with Steve Dace from Michigan mm-hmm. Podcast on. He is his team total talent rankings. And if you understand the premise of that, it's not he's not predicting who's going to win how many games, but he's basically saying this is the measurement of the talent. Well, you would think, okay, it's just a reflection of recruiting rankings. Well, he does adjust it if a player proves to be better than his uh, initial ranking. Tanner Morgan throws 30 touchdowns. He's no longer a low three-star. He's a whatever, a mid-four-star. But he doesn't reduce it for guys that underachieve because they still have that potential to, to achieve that. Okay. I had to tell him he was crazy because I said, I respect your, your, your talent rankings and I love what you're doing here. And I think it's credible, but it's not perfect. And it's certainly not perfect because I don't know how you get that Michigan's more talented than Ohio state. When despite the win last year, I don't think they were more talented last year. They lose two tremendous, even if they weren't five stars, uh, coming in, you got to up their rating to a five star, I guess, with a Jabo and Hutchinson. They're gone, and your thousand yard back, and Daxton Hill, and da 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 da. And I know the Buckeyes lost talent, but um, it, you know, to adjust the the ranking and bring in two five stars on defense for Ohio State in this recruiting class, plus I counted eight players just on defense ranked in the top twenty five at their positions. I just didn't see how that added up. So there was a question here just to get your thoughts about is Michigan more talented than Ohio state? Yeah. And I, I respect what Steve does because he's done this for years and the rankings, his his rankings are what they are. They're not skewed towards Michigan because of, you know, the number of, um, you know, general studies majors or the number of kinesiology majors, you get more points for that. No, it's, it's all about, you know, his own, uh, system there and and i respect it and so if that's what it says it's what it says however if that's what it says you might want to think is there some bad data going in here is is there something that needs to be tweaked because i'm with you i don't i don't know how it can be um you mentioned the losses daxton hill is is a huge loss for that secondary i i think actually aiden hutchinson and david ajabo is a huge loss for the secondary as well because they made that secondary very very good and now you've lost that. You've lost starting corner. You've lost leading tackler. I don't think the defensive line depth has always been an issue for me for Michigan. And I, you don't replace those two guys you lost. And the guys who will be stepping in for them won't be as good. The offensive line will be okay, but I still think they were overrated last year. Not against not against Ohio State. They did just fine there. I think having JJ McCarthy out this spring was a blessing and a curse it's a blessing in that it didn't create any controversy and nobody transferred it's a curse in that you need somebody of jj mccarthy's potential to take you to the next level and he missed a spring and so now you're going to have a situation this season where Cade mcnamara if he's not playing well you're going to want to put jj mccarthy in jj mccarthy is still semi he'll be semi experienced at that point and won't necessarily always know when not to do something. And we've seen him make mistakes in the past and you got to learn from them, but you got to be on the field to learn from them. And, and so I don't, I think the receivers are really good. Uh, They've got a lot of them. They've got a lot of decent receivers. I like the running game, the running backs. I just don't see it from the defense and you lose your defensive coordinator as well. And I, I would have to, it was it close with the two rankings close yes, it was close it was within like three points and what a point means i don't really know but when it's 308 and 311 that seems close to me mm-hmm. yeah and you know i i do uh, my own thing with uh rankings and, and positional rankings in the spring and then i'll add them up and, and see and that's my prediction for like i'll do positional rankings and then i add them all up after a series of doing these and that's my predictions on who will be um you know going to the big 10 championship game and I had you know, Indiana and Ohio State, I think, really close last year. And it, clearly, my stuff was flawed. <laughs> and I will admit that. But, you know, it, I just I, – I, you tell me that, and if I'm looking at that, I, I know I trust my data because it's it's been uh, – well, I guess I guess you only trust it. How well has it how, – how well has it done in the past? And I think then maybe that's how much you trust it. But also knowing that, you know – it's only data. It's not fact. 